All right. All right. Okay. But I'll, I'll be back in a while. Okay. Yvonne is back to being cold again in the Arctic.
There are many times that you will have heard the words of travel from your head to your heart. And we have used the words of go with the feelings and not with the thoughts. Which, of course, in essence, at least in part, is exactly the same. You see, the head, the mind, will run at a million miles an hour. But the heart is far slower. And when you bring your perception to the heart, there must be an initial concentration to discover the feelings being felt. And what is the basis for those feelings? Which feeling? Is it love or is it anger? So the attention goes then to the heart space and the reason for that emotion being felt. This slows the mind down. It slows from a structured plan wondering about future activities to bring the attention into the present moment when the emotions are being felt. So you feel the stir of emotions there in this heart. But there is a further journey to be taken. And this is bringing head and heart together. For as long as you use one at the expense of the other, then there will not be completion in your being. And if your head is full of structure and order and your heart full of emotion and feeling, the two sides appear to be in competition. And as long as they are seen in competition, you will have one or the other or favour one or the other. You bring them together to find, or by finding, the common denominator. Often within relationships, you may have two people, one is mind and one is heart, or one is predominantly mind and predominantly heart. And this can be satisfactory. But it will mean that two people will view an event in two different ways. And as I said in a talk just a few weeks ago, there is a third aspect of relationship. The third aspect of connectedness between the two. And that space, you could say, is the purity of love. But in this case, I will give it the words, the purity of awareness. When your partner is running with their mind, And you are running with your heart.
The two can either work together or cause friction to each other. But when you come into the natural space between two people, or if you prefer the natural space within you of the two sides of you, then you must be very present. How would you know that you are working with your mind or your heart if you did not have presence? How would you know which way your partner is working? point of presence is the point of connectedness. It is often overlooked, but it is beyond both head and heart. In fact, the use of either your head or your heart is still within the present moment awareness. So if you are practicing any form of spiritual work, whatever you may call it, it will involve the use of either side, head or heart. But it must be dominated by the connected point of awareness. If you cannot find the aware space, the chances are you'll be lost in either the present or the past. And again, if you wish to analyze that further, it is only the trapped feeling of being in the present or the past, not the open perception. You see, it is, of course, the presence between two people or between one person and their their dog, if you wish, or one person and their guitar or piano. But presence must always be at the forefront. And indeed, the more you are present to what you are doing, the more the natural state, the natural flow, the connectedness of your spirit or your spirit friends, if you prefer, will ease through you. It will all happen with the total presence of being. And does not your partner feel more love, feel more connectedness when you are totally present with them? Do you not feel more connected to your partner when you are present with them yourself? Do you not feel the flow of music when you are totally present? Does time disappear? Does love not awaken naturally? Does, does not the bond of all parties feel the connected point? 
And in previous talks, we have said that even if you do not agree with your partner, you never remove them from your heart. Let us flow, follow the flow of connectedness and you will see the deeper point. With a very minimal connection to other, then that connection is purely functionary, a means to an end. And you get out of that connection only what you go in to chase. But if you have that connection with your mind, then you may sit and plan the connection. And decide that you would like to achieve this or that. If you connect to another with the heart, then that connection will be rich but without direction. And you get absorbed into the feeling of joy that can be there. But the attachment means that you see, see the other as your supplier of joy. But when you come into the aware and present state, the state of your spirit, your spirit connection, then there is no need to do anything just to feel the presence that will naturally be there. And your words and actions conform to that connection. The same flow occurs when you are, let us say, connecting to another or undertaking any spiritual work. From functionary to planned to felt to presence. So if you wish to improve, you must deeper your connection to the present moment. If you want a stronger relationship with your partner or with your activity, you must be more present. If you wish to feel a greater connection to spirit, You must let go of the outside world and feel, think, and then be present to the spiritual world. And the flow of spirit then follows behind. It would be very easy for man or woman, of course, to say, I want that, but then not perform the activity that they wish. And under a little stress, they go back into their habit of using mind. When they wish to connect with spirit, even if they know their direction and way, 
if they are not sufficiently aware, they will fall back into mind and start to structure, conform the spirit connection. Now you can see this in organization. often claiming to be the voice of spirit or a deity or even the words of God. And they soon begin to put an order around that. And specify that it must be in this direction, in this way, at this style. Once the truth of spirit is felt, then that is very limiting. And if it is limiting, then the full achievement is not possible. The best expression. So paramount must always be the connection of spirit must be with presence and awareness to spirit first. So you should practice your ability to be here. You must connect to the spiritual before you bring the spiritual into the world. You must find in truth your presence before you find your expression. Many times in your world, there are those which seek a modality of medium or healer. And they chase that expression, having never truly found the truth of their connection. So if you wish to become a true healer or a true player of music from the spiritual realm, then you must find the connection to spirit first. So do not seek the end result before you find the starting line. The connection to spirit need not be in any building by any particular teacher. It can be done by yourself. A little guidance is all that is required. 
and then the flow of connection will be more certain. You'll have more faith. And the expression will come purely in directions you do not yet understand. So seek guidance, not instruction. Have support, but not rigidity and confirmation, conformation. And let the flow occur. See how you jump into mind and heart. When all that is required is presence. And as Buddha found the way. And expressed the triple gem, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. Spirit. Support. And then direction. All can be found within you. And the expression and your relationship with spirit will become true. Often there are people that come and seek direction. Should I be this or should I do that? And you will direct them into finding their own presence and their connection to their spiritual formlessness. But you must do it gradually. You take them from an uncontrolled mind into a controlled mind, into a feeling heart and into the presence that exists. For some it be quicker and some slower. So as you work with others, Commence them on a descent into spirit. So you would say that what is your path? What is your mission? What should I do? Should I be this or should I do that? You must find your awareness. And in finding that, the expression will take care of itself. Now, this is true also with connections to your partner or to your friends. That connection is functionary at its least. 
to one of a mental connection, a mind connection, to one of two hearts connecting, but then the one relationship where you can be fully present with Ego disappears when there is full presence to the other person. Your desires disappear when there is full presence The past and the future must also disappear. But with full presence, the ego of the other also disappears. You look through them, through the false self that they are presenting to the world. And you find their truth underneath it. Now, mothers are particularly good at this. They look through the errant child and see their pain and then beyond into the truth behind the play that they are playing. And love is naturally there then. And a true mother acknowledges the play, but sits within the love of the child. Perhaps it's time I went to the healing list. And if, if I may have those names now, please, Brandon. Tony and Teresa, Amanda A. Kleinman, Kathy Schmidt, Marcus Alex Vidalis, Karen and Ross Kleinman, Cynthia, Patricia, Rose, Barbara, Ogden, Monty, Yvonne, Maddie, Chantal, Les and Bev, Pete and Chelsea, Howard, Michelle Clark, Teresa, Joe, Lorna, Helen, Vicky, Lorraine, Daniel, Chantal, Wendy Lund and Brian Stern, Tracy, Eric, Stephen and Matthew, Marianne and Jody, Jill and Katie and Mitch and the people of Hawaii. Thank you.
So next time you are in a relationship, either with the one in front of you or with the event in front of you or the activity, bring your awareness to it. Watch how you drift into lesser states. See how you desire to conform and structure and order. Let the impulse of spirit be with you. Let the impulse of spirit take you see how it will drift you one way which you may not have thought of Sit with the other and be prepared for change to be presented to you. Do not follow the path that is habitual. Be open. So if you were to be in a relationship with another person and you brought this openness to that relationship, let the guidance take you let the impulse be felt. And the conformity left behind. If this connection was due to a spiritual modality you follow, And let us say you are playing the guitar. Connect to spirit. Let your awareness be felt. And do not be surprised if you drift to a different or more unusual piece of music. If you are undertaking the work of healer, listen to the impulse. And see what it must say or do. If you are sitting with a child, Sit first in your presence. Connect to spirit in you that is also in them. And let that be the expression from that point. It will be impossible for love not to be there. If you are making choices to your direction, connect to the spirit first. Practice that connection.
and let the joy be first there in the connection. And let the impulse point your nose one way or another. This is not a choice between head or heart. But at this level, it is bringing head and heart into silence and letting the impulse guide you. For some, that impulse becomes an instinct. For others, it is first felt in the heart. Others first felt in the mind. But it does not originate in either of those positions. The true connectedness is the connectedness at the point of spirit. Now this message today has been said many times to you. Sometimes you'll recognize and at other times it has been hidden within other words. But today is the point of saying this, is to remind you of that truth. As there are decisions being made by you, now and in the near future, that will have significance in your life, And you must make them from your point of truth. Not with either ego or mind or heart. Now you may not know or even think that these decisions are near. But I assure you they are. Become accustomed to the impulse of spirit. But practice your awareness so that you can find it and let it guide your body, your fingers, your mouth. And in doing so, it will guide your life. God bless you all. Until next week.